What's up guys, it is Maxwell with the next DLC war recap. This time again random action against Pinoy Bandidos and this war was pretty awesome. As you can see we lost the war but that was just due to the mismatch. Uh, we had an absolutely awesome performance with uh, 4 10v10s and 2 11 vs 11 triples. So very good job to the team, we are gonna get into those attacks later of course. Um, Pinoy Bandidos had two extra 11s, we had two extra 10s, and then they had one extra 9.5, where they actually ended up swagging the hits, I think. But um, yeah, definitely also good performance by them. They had only one dip fail out of their 14 dips, and they had two 10v 10s as well, so a good performance by them. And that just left us uh, yeah, unable to win this war, although we had a very good performance, and even better than their performance. Um, also, I'm going to show you guys in a moment. Uh, we had two 98% 10v10 fails, so that really hurt as well. But uh, overall, an awesome performance. A huge shout out to everybody at DLZ. Um, yeah, just a, a very, very nice war. And we can definitely be proud of that one. Um, but uh, yeah, Pinoy Bandidos uh, brought it home. I mean, they had the advantage and uh, they used it, they capitalized on it, they won. So congratulations to those guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to start off with Exodia today. Um, Exodia, one of his last wars as a Town Hall 9, as you guys probably already know. He's upgrading to Town Hall 10, and unless he's gonna cancel the upgrade within the next couple of days, I think he will be a 10 pretty soon. He said he's looking forward to it, he wants to farm and uh, be a 10, and uh, yeah, uh, good luck with that. But for this war, he had uh, some awesome wall breakers, as you guys can see, a nice queen charge here, and was actually able to grab another triple as a Town Hall 9, so nicely done to him. Uh, he's gonna get enemy queen here, of course. Another air defense, and then he's gonna Lalo pretty soon. Once this air defense here goes down, he's gonna kick off his Lalo. Actually, just before that, alright. Um, I watched this replay, replay previously on uh, times 4 speed, so I guess that's why I thought the air defense was gonna go down. But yeah, anyways, has got some nice Lalo pathing. Exodia does not really like hay spells, as you guys can see. He's just going with another rage spell and another heal spell for his Lalo. So, um,. Yeah, of course, absolutely smashing. The queen sort of stuck on a wall now. That's a bit unfortunate, um, but uh, his loons obviously are powerful enough to take care of the rest of this base. Let's go to times two speed as the loons are just gonna float around the base and pick up the rest of the buildings here. He's of course gonna swag the heal spell as well. So um, yeah, cool attack and uh, congratulations to Exodia for bringing home one more triple as a town on nine. I think he's in the current war as well. Not quite sure. We've got a a uh, matchup going against WHF2 right now since uh, of course we don't have CWL because we are were scheduled to face Red and Alchemy who uh, were uh, removed or left CWL invite and were not replaced so um, yeah up next we're gonna have Neke taking out base number 27 here doing it with uh, Suicide Heroes Lalo create some pretty good pathing I'll be right back with you guys So yeah, he has had a pretty nice funnel with his Wizzies. King is clearing the trash and then he's uh, doing wall breakers to access this second air defense here. Gonna be getting that out of the way. The queen already pretty low on health, so he's gonna pop the ability pretty soon. There we go with the ability. Wall gets opened up just in time, the air defense goes down. Lava Hound comes out and the queen is going to die. Uh, Expo is uh, actually not gonna lock on, but the cannon is nicely going to kill off the queen. So uh, that opener worked perfectly. Um, sends another archer, not sure what that was all about, uh, but um, yeah, there goes the Lava Hound, second Lava Hound, and then all the balloons. He has got two Hay spells, two Rage spells, a Skelly spell, and uh, a Heal spell for his Lalo, so no poison spell needed since he knew this was a Lava Hound, so uh, for that reason. Many, many spells for Lalo, Skelly spell, of course, to kill the Queen. He's gonna wait on that Wizzy Tower to go down. There goes the Rage Spell, and Rage Skeletons, the Bomb Tower, is gonna try to do it the best that it can to prevent the Queen from dying, but the Queen is gonna get absolutely smashed. Skellies are gonna do some nice uh, cleanup in the middle, taking out the Clan Castle, and the Dark Elixir Storage that would otherwise uh, maybe be an issue late, but it's not going to be in this case. And um, yeah, really trying to swag the Heal Spell here, and that is in fact gonna work out since he has a Lava Hound left, so... Um, 
yeah there we go a very nice, very nice triple here with the suicide heroes lalo and that is already gonna do it for the town hall nights today guys we're gonna move right on up to town hall 10 action and the first of those attacks is actually gonna come on number 18 Number 18 and we are gonna have Niklas 60 coming in with the Hawk triple. Shout out to Bene for the plan for this attack. Um, we sort of copied and perfected it so uh, the level heal 7 heal spell guys is certainly strong. We've had quite a bit of fun with that. Uh, with the Hawks now so Hawks um, on some bases are proving to be a viable option. And in this case he is gonna um, yeah take down this base here. Uh, we've got a couple giant bombs over here between the Tesla Archer Tower and behind the Archer Tower as well. So uh, kind of eliminates those uh, double uh, those giant bomb spots there that actually hurt the first attack that Bene did um, after the scout. He did a, um, the first attack on this base and those giant bombs late actually hurt him or otherwise it would have been a triple for him already. So yeah, sets the f uh, takes those buildings out with the queen, eliminates the pathing there. And then he's gonna come in with the king bowler kill squad. Um, he's actually gonna smash down this gold storage here. That was so nicely done. I really like that. Um, <clears throat> with uh, that one bowler bounce there, boom, the gold storage is down. Then he's going to be using a rage spell for the wall breakers, guys. Double layer wall break is attempted here. I don't remember if it quite worked out. Looks like he definitely cracked open two compartments there. Uh, of course, Hound Loon in the clan castle, so that's why the queen was being suicided. And yeah, just smashes down the enemy heroes. And then he comes in with the hoggies already. He has a heal spell for the first inferno tower and the giant bomb that is there. And then uh, a free spell and heal spell combination for the second inferno tower. There we go with uh, some more hoggies. The first heal spell was placed properly so that he's only going to need one there. Uh, there goes the uh, freeze on the inferno tower. The giant bomb has already b exploded. It was actually not uh, close to the inferno tower. It was a little bit ahead of that. And then he's got one heal spell left for the bomb tower up top here. And uh, as you can see we have got uh, four of this out of the six giant bombs including the bomb tower triggered now. Five are triggered. And the last one is... Uh, over here somewhere around that wall and the hawks are not gonna path over that so that's why it ended up working out um cleanup for this is actually goblins barbarians and minions so it uh, does not want the lava hound to come over and uh, target that so um, yeah that's the 10v10 triple uh, on 18 with hawks so very cool that hawks are a bit more viable now um and yeah i didn't want to fail to shout out uh oscar here and uh of course bucket as you can see guys these two 98 percent fails on 21 and 19 could have given us two more 10 with 10s and then we would have won but yeah that's the way it goes sometimes uh up next we're gonna have tamo and he actually grabbed the 10 with 10 six pack this war so huge shout out to him um mvp of the war i would say for sure Along with, of course, the 11v11 six-pack that uh, Bucket got. We're going to get into that a bit later. But, um, yeah, awesome job by Tamo with the 10v10 six-pack. Getting it together and uh, absolutely smashing Suicide Heroes. That's, of course, his favorite strategy right now at Channel 10 or 11. Suicide Heroes, Lalo. Um, uh, what uh, uh, is, of course, very nice about that is that it is very strong as well. So... <laughs> Uh, when your favorite attack strategy is doing so well that tends to be pretty good gets the enemy queen here with his queen ability and uh, that was uh, very nice and that way he did not have to use skelly spells and then in he goes with the lalo um, he always has a very good lalo of course and uh, he's got a nice pathing into this first inferno tower here there we go double haste spell rage spell boom the first inferno is down the air sweeper that is annoying him is going to go down very quickly as well, so that's good. There goes the second rage spell already. Has another uh, free spell left and two, uh, three more haste spells actually. So uh, the fact that he did not have to use uh, the scaly spells really paid off. Gave him two more haste spells for this attack. And um, yeah, the queen, nice and accessible. We like that over here. <laughs> and uh, still has a lava hound left, which is now going to pop. Two more haste spells and he sort of, sort of waited on those. Has two more loons as well. But it's going to have plenty, plenty of juice to take down number 15. So there we go. There go the last couple of defenses. And that's going to be rip 15. We've seen plenty suicide hero Lalo. So we're not going to bother with the cleanup. Fabian also grabbed the 10v10 as well. So great job to him as well. 
Uh, on number 14 here, as you can see, this time the queen not quite as accessible, so he needs the double scaly spell, but he's gonna get some nice value for his opener at least. Sets the funnel with uh, three minions here, gets the queen down, gets the king down, gets a giant down to tank. We have a um, giant bomb, little bomb combination over here with uh, this wall where he wants to break it open. So that was sort of strange. That's why the scout in the, uh, the, the wall break in the scout failed. Um, the king made some really good moves here, popped the king ability, then the king turned back ar outside around, queen went in, queen got uh, the second air defense out of the way, and then of course also uh, the next uh, expo over there, I believe, if I remember correctly, archer tower for sure, and yeah, the expo as well, so a uh, nice and successful suicide mission with the heroes here, uh, even gets a couple of shots on the king off, you guys might say, well, that doesn't really matter for Lalo, but uh, in case your loons try to kill the king late, it can definitely help uh, speed up the process. If the king is already damaged, so it does not hurt to uh, to hurt the king. <laughs> it does not hurt you to hurt the king. Um, and uh, yeah, the first Inferno Tower down, of course. Heal spell right after. He has the first Skelly spell down. He's actually only going to need one Skelly spell to kill the queen. He uh, sort of noticed that, so uh, for that reason he saved the second Skelly spell. Is going to drop it. Um, I don't don't. I think he dropped it sort of strange on the walls or no on the archer tower here. I believe. Oh yeah, I, I remember we gave him some grief for that uh, because he did not drop it on the wizzy tower, but on the archer tower bomb tower combination there. But yeah, anyways, he had enough to take down this base just only just, but it was a triple. So uh, nicely done to him. And then we of course still have the second uh, tamo hit on number nine which uh, was with a golem this time so a little bit of a kill squad going in here for this base and um, yeah we're gonna start right off with the golem actually we're busy doing work on the funnel there and then uh, i think queen behind the golem if i remember correctly or oh, was this the base with no lava i believe this was the base with no lava on the clan castle if i remember correctly uh, not quite sure, but I think there was a, at least one clan castle with a baby dragon in there or something weird. But um, yeah, anyways, the golem is going to tank for queen here. Queen is actually going to uh, go on a suicide mission and uh, uh, take out an inferno tower as well as a Tesla, archer tower, wizard tower. So the golem is soaking up all that damage there. So uh, I guess this is not the base with the baby dragon or dragon i don't quite remember i just remember that they had one clan castle with uh, no lava hound so um yeah the golem giving the queen some nice value she's gonna step all around to the outside and oh yeah there you can see guys couple minions in there has got no poison spell so the queen is gonna help out with that a bit and um yeah he's gonna be moving in with the lalo queen actually keeping those minions alive and <laughs> shooting the hound instead so uh, luckily the minions though targeted onto his own lava hound to take that out there we go with some more balloons and um, yeah he's gonna be wrecking this space obviously as well still has uh, a heal spell rage spell free spell and three haste spells left so and um, tamo just uh, absolutely bragging with the spells it was very fortunate that the queen was so close to the outside here that way the king was able to kill the queen and once again he did not have to use scaly spells so um, yeah, the base design here definitely helped him out a little bit, but I don't want to take anything away from him. Still an awesome 10v10 six pack, of course, and um, yeah, there goes the last Inferno Tower. Hound is in a good spot, so no worries about popping it with the cleanup troops. Um, even lures it away with an archer, so yeah, great job to Tamo, 10v10 six pack. And then we have got the 11 vs 11 action left, and uh, Bucket grabbing a couple of those. This base right here, we actually scouted this one pretty early and uh, thought that a kill squad would work nicely on it. Then we had an all Lava Hound scout, uh, or we looked at it early and said that the kill squad would work nicely. Then we had an all Lava Hound scout on it just to get an idea of the clan castle and the air traps, the Teslas. And then Bucket came in with the kill squad as planned and smashed this base down here. Uh, it's going to jump in over here. And then, of course, Bolas and the Warden ability are going to be able to absolutely wreck that compartment over there. Queen getting some nice value in her suicide mission, but she's going to die out soon. Uh, takes a couple shots, actually gets down the Archer Tower there. And then 
One shot on the cannon, then she's gonna die. There goes uh, the jump spell, there goes the golem, there go the bowlers, warden, king, all that good stuff moving in. It's gonna have a rage spell, of course. Eagle artillery is gonna be activated. There goes the rage. There goes the grand warden ability at the perfect time. Saves all those troops from giant bombs, eagle shot, all that good stuff. Even has Teslas in that, comp that compartment, guys. So Queen down, Teslas down, Inferno Tower down, Eagle Artillery is gonna go down. And he's already gonna move in with his Lalo. While his troops in the middle are still tanking, has got two Hounds and a few Loons left for the Lalo. But of course, huge value with his kill squad here. Expo set to ground as well is definitely gonna help him out. Drop some cleanup in right uh, behind the Lalo there, just to get that speeded up. Nice and early. Use the haste spell uh, towards the Archer Tower actually to get that out of the way for pathing. Rage spell. Then he really waited with his heal spell. We still have no idea why. Maybe he was lagging. No idea. But could have dropped that earlier and made it less close. But it still ended up working out nicely. So that one hero balloon there got the Inferno Tower out of the way. And that did it for base number 5. Grand Warden died a late death, but it was a timely death this time, <laughs> not an untimely one. So, um, yeah, number five fell to Bucket as well as number three did. This one actually coming very late uh, in a hero effort to save the war, of course, but uh, ended up not working out since uh, Pinoy Bandidos got all the dips uh, through, all the dips but one, I should say. And um, yeah, so for this one, Actually, a spam Lalo suicides the heroes on the back and side here right away. Goal, of course, is to get enemy queen out of the way. Then he has nine haste spells, a heal, and a freeze for the 11 versus 11 three stars. So that is a pretty interesting spell composition. Obviously, it says he's not gonna need haste, just banking on the not gonna need rage, uh, just banking on the haste spells. So gets the queen, gets the wizzy tower, a couple defensive buildings, and then. He is going to be pre-planting those haste spells, sending in two lava hounds and 38 balloons and 10 minions for cleanup. And there he goes, nice and spammy with the Lalo. Uh, so the loons first, lava hounds after, just to save the lava hounds from a couple of black bombs, uh, keep them alive, keep them tanking a bit longer. He's actually really gonna wait on his warn ability, freeze that one inferno tower that is not gonna be uh, warn abilityed, and <laughs> then uh, pop the ability for the other one. At least that was the goal, so uh, I think, but the loon sort of petered out on one side, so he kind of froze and warn ability one Inferno Tower, so <laughs> that's that. But other than this uh, second Inferno Tower, we've got not very much left standing in the base, only an Arch Tower after that, so had more than enough balloons to get it down, we can go to times 4 speed already, as there is not much interesting stuff left happening. The Inferno Tower was even fragged, so uh, able to go down a bit quicker. And um, yes, that is the 11 for uses 11 six pack there for you guys. I'm not gonna show any more 10 v11s for this war because uh, I already exposed two of uh, Pinoy uh, Pinoy Bandidos 11 bases. So I think that's plenty for one recap. And um, yeah, once again, great job to the Bandidos. Uh, as I said, we left two tents on the board. They cl uh, did they cl no? They of course did not clear tents. They had. 110 left on the board uh, and um, yeah that's your war right there uh, one dip fail for them zero dip fails for us perfect dips for dlz feels good man as well as 211 versus 11s four 10 v 10s for us two 10 v 10s for them and that's your war great one fun one and uh, does not really feel like a loss for us because it was an awesome performance and um, yeah guys until the next video i will see you all later peace out